Welcome, beautiful people. What's up, guys? Welcome once again. Another episode of Cooking with Nino. It's been a while. I haven't talked to you guys in a while, but I'm back in the kitchen. Right now, it's summertime in Toronto. We're about getting ready to kick off. Finally. The, kick off the Carabana season. So today, I'm going to be making some jerk burgers. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, you know how jerk is. It's spicy, it's hot, and it's going to be kicked up. So check it out. You can check out all my vegetables here. And I'm going to be kicking all this up with some jerk seasoning. Once again, Piranha. Piranha is the star of the show today. We got some uh, we got some mushrooms going on here. Now, what type of mushrooms are those? Oh, those are... Uh, Portobello's? Portobello mushrooms. What else could they be? We've got some zucchini over there, some Bermuda onions, and we've got an assortment of peppers. Okay. And we're going to be putting all that, get it all seasoned up. Right over here, we've got our salt and pepper. We've got a little garlic, a little onion powder. And, and we're going to be kicking up. Oh, we barbecue sauce. Can't forget the barbecue sauce. And we're going to kick that up. And let me tell you, when we get going, you're going to lick your fingers. Other than the piranha jerk sauce. His favorite hot sauce. Yes, ma'am. We're going to be sauce. kicking it up with some piranha. So right now, I'm going to be making my vegetarian mm -hmm. option. And for that, I've, I've got the remainder of the onion. I'm just going to drop this in here. The remainder of the onion. I'm going to be adding some chopped parsley to this. I've got my chopped parsley over here with my parsley, which I'm going to be putting in the chopper. i just give a little fistful. Let's get that in there. I've got some thyme leaves, some fresh thyme. Let's get a couple of slides down there, just so we get this, this a vegetarian option nicely flavored. I've got three cloves of garlic. So drop those in, and I've got probably about a quarter cup of uh, olive oil. Just gonna put that all in there. And I'm also gonna drop in there Two teaspoons of the jerk seasoning because let me tell you this piranha seasoning it's just gonna kick it up kick it up well gonna add to that a little bit of salt and some black pepper I'm gonna give this a nice little spin and you can hear my my trusted little granddaughter in the background there, she wants to be a part of everything that we do. She's grabbing my legs. She wants to see what's going on on top of the counter, but she's a little too short to see it on the counter. I'm gonna get that all nicely pureed if I can. All right. Look at that. Hmm? I'm gonna just grab my little brush and I'm just gonna brush this on. All right, just gonna brush this on to my zucchini, to my uh, my mushrooms, as well as my peppers and onions. And when we put this on the grill, we're just gonna have delicious flavors all blended together, and they're just gonna come out lovely. They're gonna make an amazing burger. And take note of the size of these portobello mushrooms. They just cover the surface of the bun so nicely that we're just gonna enjoy this. Just give it a nice little helping. Get some on the onions. This is all flavor, getting to know each other. And like I said, it is summer here in Toronto and it's Carabana season. And we are going to jump up, jump up, and we're going to enjoy the burgers while we're jumping up. So as we get all our vegetables ready and we're about to lay them on the grill, we just bear in mind that, you know, it's lovely to get nice grill marks on your, uh, on your vegetables. It makes the burger look so much more attractive. So just kind of put them on a diagonal. And then when you turn them over and flip them, you just turn them the other way. And you'll get a nice little X mark all over your uh, your vegetables, which is going to make it look very attractive. So just ensure as well that you you nicely and properly season and marinate your vegetables, so the flavor is just going to pop once you put it in the burger. You see, just laying them all, ensuring that the temperature on the grill are at different settings because some of these items do grill faster than others. As example, the zucchini will probably grill a lot faster than the pepper. So we just kind of move them around and, okay, just lay them all down on your grill. And uh, once you get that going, mm -mm, it's going to be yum. Thank you. 
All right, so you get all your vegetables on your grill. Just ensure that if you have a little bit of the marinade left over, just continue to brush it on the vegetables as, it, as it's on the grill. Just help baste it and moisten it a little bit so it doesn't really dry out. Okay, so just brush away and just have fun with it. That's what cooking is all about, having fun with your food. Assembling my vegetarian option. I'm going to start off with my portobello mushroom. I just uh, give a nice little toast on the on the bun. My portobello mushroom. We'll get a couple pieces of uh, zucchini. And you can get some onions on there. Some nice grilled onions. Just get that on there. Nice. Oh, that is absolutely lovely. peppers here, nicely caramelized. We also got some, we also got some lettuce. I'm just gonna squeeze that over. We got a, a tomato on there, as well as some lettuce. And look at that. That is one heck of a vegetarian burger, isn't it? My vegetarian burger with the zucchini and the onions. That one has my name on it. And the portobello mushroom. I think Lo is going to be having that one. That is absolutely delicious. I can taste that jerk just kind of jump out at you and bite you. And mm, I just love it. So if you like what you see, you like what we've prepared today, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will certainly looking forward to see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.